Today, I'm going to talk about the differences between the Pfizer, Moderna, and AstraZeneca vaccines for coronavirus. What does our body do when it gets a viral infection? Well, it creates these antibodies that can stick to the virus and prevent the virus from infecting other cells. Now, even after the virus is cleared from our system, these antibodies stick around. And what they do is they can prevent the virus from infecting our cells if the virus gets into our body again. What does a vaccine do? A vaccine's goal is to get our body to create these antibodies without getting infected first. What antibodies does our body make against SARS-CoV-2? Well, the SARS-CoV-2 virus has these spike proteins, here shown in red, that stick out from the virus. And these are really important because they're what the virus uses to attach to and get inside of our cells. And our body, to protect us, makes antibodies against this spike protein. Now, all three vaccines, Moderna, Pfizer, and AstraZeneca, get our body to make antibodies against the spike protein without, again, having to be infected first. So how do the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines work? Well, they use something called mRNA technology. Basically, in our body, DNA is the genetic instructions for how to create proteins. But our body can't read this DNA directly. It's like written in a foreign language. So what it does is it first creates messenger RNA or mRNA from this DNA. And then our body can read the messenger RNA and use that to create the protein. Now, importantly, our body can make proteins from any messenger RNA. So for example, if we introduce the messenger RNA from the spike protein of coronavirus into our body, our bodies can make the spike protein. And once it does that, our body then creates an immune response against that spike protein, and these antibodies that it creates can protect us from coronavirus. How are the Pfizer and Moderna viruses, sorry, how are the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines different from each other? Well, they use a different piece of the spike mRNA. So the mRNA they use is different, and consequently, the piece of the spike protein that they produce is a little bit different. But they both create antibodies to this, or they both allow our body to create antibodies to the spike protein, and thus both vaccines protect us from the coronavirus. Now, the AstraZeneca vaccine works a little bit differently. It uses something called virus vector technology. Basically, what the researchers have done is put a little bit of the spike protein DNA into a virus called the chimpanzee cold virus. Now, the chimpanzee cold virus can't uh, harm us. It's you know from a chimpanzee, and it can't infect our cells. But it can carry this little piece of DNA from the spike protein into our body. And our body takes that DNA, converts it to messenger RNA, and then creates a protein. Specifically, it creates a piece of the spike protein. Our body then creates an immune response, and it makes antibodies against this spike protein. So at the end of the day, all three vaccines uh, allow our body to create antibodies against the spike protein, and so they will all protect us from the coronavirus. Now, all three vaccines also require two doses. The Pfizer, for the Pfizer vaccine, the two doses have to be 21 days apart. For Moderna, they're 28 days apart. And for the AstraZeneca vaccine, they're about 8 to 12 weeks apart. What other differences are there between these vaccines? Well, the efficacy, meaning how effective it is, is slightly different. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are about 95% efficacious. That means that they have about a 95% chance of protecting us from the coronavirus. The AstraZeneca vaccine is slightly lower, between 70 and 90%, depending on how far apart the two doses are given. Can we just get one dose? Is that enough? Well, studies have shown that if you get just one dose of the Pfizer vaccine, the efficacy is only about 50%. And there's no evidence that this lasts past three weeks. For the AstraZeneca vaccine, the efficacy after one dose is about 70%, and we don't know for how long that lasts. So the short answer is yes, we do need both doses. What are other differences between the two vaccines? 
Well, one is the storage. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines have to be stored at sub-zero temperatures, really cold, whereas the AstraZeneca vaccine can just be refrigerated. This is really important for many parts of the world where cold storage is not available. The other big difference is the cost. The Pfizer vaccine is about $20 per dose or $40 per person since you need two doses. Moderna vaccine is $33 per dose and the AstraZeneca vaccine is $4 per dose. So the AstraZeneca vaccine is also much less uh, expensive. And this can also be a really important factor in getting it to be distributed worldwide. So in uh, conclusion then, all three vaccines work against the coronavirus and given how many uh, people there are and how few vaccines there are right now, all three of them will be very important, I think, in uh, inoculating people against coronavirus.